Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, will be extra. So today, guys, we'll be recording all the total drama character rankings. I'm going to be doing my video today, guys. There's a lot of characters. There will be spoilers, of course. I'll try to make this as brief as I can because, you know, obviously, I don't want to make this video very long for you guys. We have like 100 characters, so I'll keep it very brief, very honest, and everything like that. And if you guys want, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. It can give like more additional feedback and, you know, uh, which ones you want to hear more detailed rankings i'll be able to do that in the comments below i just want to get everything done in one video and i'll do, i'll do my best to put time sets for every character which will be a lot to do so let's start with the first character we got here is alejandro alejandro for me is definitely um uh, an amazing character obviously we know his arc in total world tour i wasn't quite a huge fan of all stars although he wasn't that bad all stars i mean most characters all stars were garbage so it's not really saying much but still like uh, alejandro for me he's a great character i'm gonna probably put him in love I don't, I don't have him as my personal favorite. Um, he's kind of up there. Um, it's just that, it's just that I there's other characters I prefer over him. Next up is Amy. I'm sorry, Amy's a disgrace. Amy is one of the worst characters. All she really does is basically bully Sammy and just is just there's nothing redeeming about her. She just is a, a terrible human being, and I don't know. I just don't like her whatsoever. I'm sorry to say. And next up it is um. Anna Maria. Um, Anna Maria is a character that I think it's okay. She has her whole, obviously, arc with Avito, with the Mike's personality thing. She's a decent competitor. Um, you know, she's she's strong. She's um, kind of, you know, um, and she's kind of similar, I would say, to LaShawn in some way. So I'll probably say neutral. I'm, I don't really have much opinion on her. Uh, Axel, the same with her, honestly. I don't really have much to say. Uh, she has a relationship with Ripper, which I guess is nice and all, but really, besides that, there's nothing really else about her. I mean, she's a strong personality she has a strong competitor she's like sean essentially but yeah there's not really much to say so i'm gonna say neutral for her as well uh b a smart character that got ousted by scott obviously with this whole stupid strategy and revenge island um so yeah i would say b is probably neutral as well i don't really have much to say he's a silent guy that doesn't speak and yeah he's a smart guy though he's a smart guy uh beardo yeah beardo's hate I, I don't know what the purpose of beardo is he just makes noises for no reason i'm oh, sorry but beth uh, Beardo just yeah makes no reason for no reason. Next up is Beth. I'll say Beth is a character that I think it's all right. You know she made the file obviously season two, like Alejandro season three. Um, but besides, I mean, it's, it's just not really much to say about her. I mean, she's a nice girl. She's friends with most people in the cast, and she's just a nice character. But there's not really much to say. Like she's just kind of just there, you know. So that's why I'm going to put her neutral. Uh, Blainly, Blainly for me is a character that's also kind of just there. She has her whole aftermath thing. You know, she's more known for that. Um, but yeah, really, there's not really much to say. I, I just don't really care about Blaney whatsoever. She's just there. Uh, she's a character that's all right, I suppose. Uh, Bowie. Bowie, for me, fantastic. I think Bowie is one of the best characters in the the reboot. I thought he was amazing. You know, his whole um, villain arc. And he's also, like, even though he's an antagonist, he isn't, like, as cunning as your previous antagonist. And that's what I like about him, is that he isn't such such a huge villain, right? Um, I think he's a strong character. He has a strong, a strong social game. He's smart. He knows what he's doing, and I'm I'm glad he made the final in season one. I feel like season two they did a bit harsh with him, you know, getting him out really the first instance of the merge. But yeah, I, I just thought he was very, very disappointing. Um, in that sense. But overall, I think he's still a strong competitor. So I'm gonna probably put him in. You know, I think I'm gonna put him in love. I think he's probably one of my favorite characters in the reboot. So, um, I, I'll probably put him in love. Not quite my favorite. Not quite. But um, he's definitely up there. As love. Uh, Brick. Brick is a character I think is really strong. He's a very strong character. You know, has that, you know, soldier mentality to help out people. Um, and it's a shame because obviously in the episode he got eliminated and he did a heroic act, but obviously that costed his team the challenge. So, yeah, Brick for me, I'm going to put him on like. I feel like he should have been All-Stars. I, I don't know why he wasn't there. I'm messing up with the thing right here. So, Brick. Brick, I'm going to put him on like. Next up is Bridget. Uh, Bridget, like I said, I, she's a nice character. She's a nice girl. I like her stint in season one. She's that surfer girl, menta surfer girl. You know, she has that uh, friendship with obviously Jeff. I'm um, sorry, boy. Anyway, she's boyfriends with Jeff, obviously. But the issue with Bridget is I feel like she's just she's just kind of forgettable after season one. Like, sure, she's the aftermath thing and she has her role thing, but really, uh, there's not really she's there's not really much interesting about her, you know. And so. I feel like Bridget for me could have been a character that been, could have been one of the more interesting characters, but she just kind of like rolled. I just don't really think she got interesting after season one. I think she got kind of a little worse in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm going to put her neutral. Uh, Brody, 
yeah, he's a cool server dude. You know, he has that. He's you know obviously on the same team as Jeff and everything. But um, I, I like I said, I, I just don't really have much to say. He's a nice guy. He should not made the final, in my opinion, but that's not really his fault. But yeah, I'm gonna st- probably put him in neutral, I guess. Um, Caleb, Caleb's a strong competitor. We saw what he did in season one. Season one, he wasn't great, but season two, he was great. You know, obviously, he w- he was in a relationship with Priya, made it all the way to the final, and you know, he had that rivalry with Julia. Um, and yeah, I just think he's a strong competitor. He has that. He's he's also a very nice guy. He's a guy that may be a bit too nice. So, yeah, I'm going to put Caleb in, like, for now. Um, Cameron. Um, see, the thing with Cameron is I really did enjoy him in Revenge. I thought Revenge Island, he was great. He was amazing. But All-Stars, he was so stupid. I'm sorry. All-Stars, he was absolutely abysmal. I don't know what happened to him All-Stars. It almost felt like he had a brain in Revenge Island, and they had no brain in All-Stars. Like, I don't know what happened. So, it's really difficult to put. I'm going to put Cameron, for now, in neutral. I think I'm going to put him in neutral. I think he's still a good character. Oh, just what did I just do? I think I pinned it. Yeah, I don't want to pin. Um, so I'm going to put it in, in neutral for now. By the way, I'm not ranking the characters in their specific tiers. That will take too much time, so I'll just do it. I'm just doing it as we go along. Next up, it is um, uh, Carrie. Um, Carrie's a nice character. I like her stand in Revenge. Uh, sorry, Redonkis Race. You know, she obviously wanted to. She was obviously. In, she also had a huge crush on our boyfriend. And I believe his name is um um actually let me see her name his name real quick sorry I kind of forgot some of these characters names uh his name is obviously Devin so yeah I mean Car Carrie for me yeah she's a, a, sweet, a nice character I suppose I'll probably put her on like I don't really have much I don't really you know she's not one of my favorites but she's definitely a good strong competitor you know and she made it pretty far I wish they won the round because race honestly I feel like they should have but you know that's a topic another time. Next up is Chase. I'm sorry, Chase is just stupid. Chase is absolutely stupid. I don't. I wouldn't say I dislike. I hate him that much. Uh, but he's definitely a character I don't like. I don't like Chase because all he really is is a narcissistic dude that wants to be with Emma. He doesn't care about Emma whatsoever. Just cares about himself and really is just a stupid character. Doesn't really understand that. And I, I will give him. There are some positive aspects that he is funny. That's probably one of the few positive aspects. But other than that, there's not really much else to say. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't like Chase. I don't like Chase. Next up, it is, um, I believe that is, let's see, I believe that's Chet. Um, Chet, he's okay, I guess. Obviously, he had that whole rivalry thing with his brother. Uh, but after they became, after they kind of got over the rivalry, you know, their hatred for another, they, came, they became funny. You know, they kind of started to, you know, be nice to each other. And so, I'm going to probably put him in neutral. I really don't really have much to say about him. I, I, I really, he's just okay, I suppose. Um, but yeah, not really much to say there. Next up is Cody. Uh, Cody there, um, yeah, obviously he was good character World Tour, World Tour, he was amazing. But as good as he was in World Tour, guys, if we're keeping it real, let's be real, he got carried by Sierra. Sierra basically carried him all the way to the final three. So Cody, for me, he's a good character, but he's just kind of like that nice guy, you know? There's not really much to say about him. He has that, obviously, friend. he's obviously good friends with Sierra, uh, obviously good friends with Heather, but yeah, not really much to say. You know, obviously, he's, he likes Gwen a lot, so yeah, I'll probably put him like, I suppose, Courtney. Courtney is one of my favorites. She is an amazing competitor. She should have won more of the season's tour drama. She should have won. I, the fact that she didn't win any of the tour drama seasons is disgraceful. All Stars should have been her season. I think she's an amazing character. She's strong. She has that personality. She's a cutthroat. And for me, she's one of my favorites. She's one of my favorites. I love Courtney. She's one of my favorite favorite characters for sure, hands down. Next up, it is. Um, I believe that is. Uh, let me just check that real quick. That is Crimson. Um, Crimson for me is all right. I guess um, I don't really have much to say about her. She has the whole goth uh, personality thing, kind of like Gwen, but she's more like, more like, anti-social. I guess is the way to put it. So I'm gonna probably put her neutral. I really don't have much to say about her. She's kind of just there, I suppose. Um, so yeah, uh, I suppose I'll say. Next up is Dakota. I like Dakota. I'll say I think Dakota is a good competitor. Obviously, she was hard done by Chris. I think Chris was really harsh on her. Uh, and, you know, she had the mutant personality, which was pretty crazy. That was really cool to see. You know, she got mutated. And so, yeah, I'll probably put Dakota in like. Um, and, yeah, I think she's a cool character. And um, I wish she had more of a problem. I wish she was an all-star. I think she could have been a great character, especially as a mutant character. Obviously, I know they wouldn't do it, obviously. But um, I feel like it would have been really cool to see if they had her in all-stars. Next up, it is um, next up it is Damien. Now, let me just say this right now, guys. Damien, season one, I wasn't really a huge fan of. I thought he was eh. But season two, he was good. Season two, he was amazing. He was probably one of the best characters in season two. 
That's a shame that the way the elimination occurred because that was just a, such a stupid way to eliminate him. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to probably put him in, let's see. So I'll probably put him in see, uh, season one. I'll probably get to say neutral. As these are two, I'll probably say love. So I'll probably put him in like. I'll probably put him in like. Damien, for me, underrated character. And I feel like he should have made the final. I wish he made the final instead. Honestly, he should have made the final. Next up is Dave. Oh, boy. Dave is a controversial character. Obviously, a lot of people remember, a lot of people don't like Dave for what he did with the sky. And to be fair, it was kind of a jerk move. See, it's weird because I actually did enjoy Dave a lot before the whole obsession thing with Sky. Before the whole obsession thing with Sky, he was a good character. So the obsession with Sky, though, ruined his character. So I'm going to probably put him in, like, neutral. I think neutral is probably the fair way to say. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put him in neutral, I suppose. And we'll put him there. <clears throat> next up, it is... Um, next up, it is uh, Dawn. I think Dawn's a cool character. I really wish she had more of a stint in Revenge of the Island. Obviously, uh, Chris Scott boot got her out because of she stole the items when in reality is Scott that did, but she just he just blamed it on her, you know, antagonistic stuff. So, yeah, I think she's a character that could have been amazing, but it's just it's not, I, she was kind of cool. You know, reading people's auras was kind of cool, interesting. And she was a smart competitor, but yeah, it is it's just a shame. So. I'm not sure what I put. Do I put her in a like or neutral? I mean, I have so many people in neutral. I think I'll put her in neutral because I really don't much, um, I really don't much to say about her to be honest with you. So I think I'm gonna put her in neutral. She's just kind of, she's a cool character, but isn't that amazing in my opinion? Next up is Devin. I kind of feel the same with Carrie as well. They're kind of like, kind of go hand in hand. Um, obviously a lot of the wrong characters, since they compete in pairs, will I'll probably put them in the same tier. So. I kind of pretty much talked about why I feel about Carrie with Devin, so I'll, I guess I'll put them together. So, yeah, they go hand in hand, I guess. Next up is DJ. DJ, for me, is a character I like. Um, I think he's a good competitor. I like him at Island the most, especially. Um, action, he was good. World Tour, I wasn't really a huge fan of. So, yeah, I think he's a good character. And, yeah, Duncan, for me, one of my favorites. I love Duncan. Duncan is one of my favorite characters. Actually, you know what? This might come as a hot take, but I'm going to put Duncan in love, actually. I was thinking about putting him in S, but I really didn't really enjoy Duncan after World Tour, honestly. I really didn't enjoy Duncan that much after World Tour. Although World Tour onwards, he was not that great. and But Ireland action, he was amazing. So that's the reason why I'm not putting him in favor, because I feel like World Tour action, kind, World Tour and All-Stars kind of did ruin his character for me, at least. With the whole nice guy being thing and the whole cheating thing. Yeah, the whole love triangle thing. Yeah, not really a fan of that. Next up, it is, um, next up in the case race we have is Dwayne. I don't really have much to say about Dwayne. He's a cool father, you know, tries to teach his son lessons, you know. And, yeah, I mean, he's a decent character, I guess. And that's not really much to say about him, so I really don't quite, quite frankly care. Next up is Emma. Um, Emma, for me, she's a character that, you know, obviously sings a lot in the Puck 2 Island, but really there's not really much to say about her. She's just a singer, so I'm going to put her in neutral. Um... Next up, I believe. Um, next up, I believe it is the uh, Ronkus race character, and I believe it's Elodie. Elodie, yeah, neutral. I really don't have much to say about her. Uh, she's a smart girl, and she got too smart. You know, was way too focused on this. She should have just focused on completing the challenge. Instead, she wanted to make the perfect thing as possible. Yeah. Now, Emma. Emma's a character I really. Uh, Emma's a character that's good. I, I like Emma. Emma is one as a character I like. You know, obviously her whole relationship with Noah is pretty interesting. You know, and she's like a lawyer type girl. And it's actually very interesting because her and her sister are very different. Like, she's like the the more serious one. Obviously, Kitty's more the fun girl. So, I'm going to probably put her in like. Um, but, yeah, that's good, I guess. Next is Emma. Um, Emma's the character that, I don't know how I feel, man. I don't know how I feel about Emma. Because Emma's the character I really feel like is the character that had potential. But I think she's just too bogged down with the relationship with Chase. And I think she cared about him too much. So, uh, she's a strong competitor, I'll give you that, but I think I'm going to probably put her in neutral. I definitely prefer her over Chase, but I, I just feel like there's not really much to her game, besides her whole friendship thing with Bowie. Well, now, I think she now hates Bowie after what Bowie did to her in Season 1, so. There's, that's not really much to her, besides the whole Chase thing. Like, that's just the same, because I feel like if they focus on other stuff besides the Chase, she could have been a good character on you. Kind of the same with uh, Crimson, pretty much neutral. I don't really have much to say. Oh, sorry. Beard should be there. I'm going to put her probably next to her. So, yeah, not really much to say. Yeah, they're they're both uh, goth people. So, yeah. Eva's a character I think is decent. She's a good character, but 
she doesn't really have a role in the show, honestly. She just doesn't. So I'm gonna probably put her in neutral. She's a strong competitor. Yeah. Ezekiel, I mean, what does there say about him? Ezekiel is now feral and everything like that. So yeah, it's neutral for me. Jeff, eh, he's cool, I suppose. I like his. I like him and I like him more than the, you know. Island, he was great, you know, and obviously, um, he was also good in the Rockets race. So I'll probably put him a like. Uh, but honestly, you don't really have much. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I should put him in neutral because I really don't care about Jeff, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Man, there's so many characters. I have to try to get everyone here. So, I'll probably put Jeff next to Bridget. I guess they go together. Okay, next up it is, um, I think it's Gary. Yeah, Gary's there, I suppose. He's cool, I suppose. Yeah, not that much to say about him. So, he's just kind of just there with his tennis guy. So, yeah. I'll probably put him in neutral for now. Harold, I actually love Harold. Harold's one of my favorite characters because he's so much like me. This, you know, get picked on uh, because I, you know, he's just a character that's smart. You know, he's not super super smart, which I like about him. Which I'm not super smart, but I know my stuff. And you know, I feel like me and Harold are kind of very similar in terms of personality. Obviously, I wouldn't say I'm a, like a nerd as him. You know, and I do. I understand how it feels to be like looked down upon. You know, people just don't really look down and people look down at me and stuff like that. So. I'll probably put Harold in love. I thought he was great. In action, he was fantastic. Island, he was also good. World Tour, not the best, but yeah, I'll probably put him in love. Heather, obviously, you got to put her in favorite. I mean, it goes last night. She's one of the best, uh, uh, one of the best troll drama characters, like her whole stink. And you know what's really interesting, guys? I really loved Heather after season three because up until that point, I was like, yeah, I wasn't really a huge fan of Heather. Didn't really like Heather that much, but season three really changed how I feel about her, her whole protagonist arc and making the final. I was so happy for her when she won it. It was great. Izzy, yeah, she's a fun character. You know, she's a character that's fun, you know, does crazy stuff. But yeah, really, there's not really much to say about Izzy. Like, I mean, she obviously has a relationship with Owen, but that's pretty much about it. So, yeah, I'll probably put her in there. Uh, Jose, sorry, that's, uh, no, sorry, that's Jacquees. Um, eh, I guess I'll put him in love. He has the whole antagonistic personality, which is cool. You know, her, him and Jose. Uh, I'll probably put her like. Um, I don't really. I prefer Jose honestly over him because I thought Jose was more the cunning villain, but he was also up there as well. So I'll probably put him like Jasmine. Here I like. I like Jasmine. She's one of my. She's one of the best characters in Park Two Island. I want to really say she's one of my favorites um, because I, 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 you know, but she's definitely a good character. She's definitely a good character for sure. Next up, it is. Um, I believe that is one of the guys in the Rebels race. Um, I believe that's Jay or is that Mickey? Sorry, that's Jay. That's Jay. Okay, Jay. Um, I'll probably put him in neutral. I don't really much to say. He has that whole, I think it's autistic thing or something. Um, he has a lot of issues, and yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, it's not that great. So, yeah. Adversity twins, and yeah. Um, next up, it is, um, let's see who's the next, the next character we got here. It is Jen. Yeah, Jen is kind of just there. Uh, she's cool, I guess. She has the whole fashion thing. And yeah, but not really much to say about her, honestly. Joe, Joe is a character I like. Joe is one of my favorite characters of Revenge of the Island. She's a great character. I like her stint. Yeah, I thought she was a good, like, anti-hero uh, character as well, which I thought was nice. So yeah, Jose, I'll put her in put her love. I really love Jose. I think she's a great villain. She's a great personality. She's also very, very determined. And yeah, <clears throat> this is probably one of the rare exceptions where I don't put them in the same tier for this one. And then Joe's, and then um, Julia, man. I love Julia. Julia is one of my favorite characters. I love her arc from being like this, you know, this sweet girl, innocent girl to like this evil girl, this evil girl you don't want to be with. And I thought it was very interesting what the writers did with her. So I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to put Julia in actual uh, love. Julia is love. I love Julia. She's one of my favorite characters. Uh, next up it is, um, I believe, let me see who that is. That is, um, that is Junior. Yeah, Junior, I, I I think I like Junior more than the father. He's more cool, you know, more that upbeat personality, more chill. So, yeah, I'll probably put him like. Uh, Justin, meh, Justin's a good character, I suppose. I like Justin. I like his stint. And, oh, I told him, actually, I thought Toldrum actually was great. Toldrum Island, I didn't really see much of him, but Toldrum actually was great. So, yeah, I'll put him there. Uh, Kitty, I'll probably put her in neutral. I, I don't really have much to say about her. Um, Next up, it is the mother. The mother, uh, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. <clears throat> Kelly, I think is okay. I really don't have much to say about her. She's a nice. She's a good. She tries everything she can, but she just can't control her daughter. Her daughter's just not that great. So yeah, I'm gonna put her in neutral for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, Kitty. Now, Kitty's one of the characters I like. She's really funny. She's really fun. She's really a good uh, friend to be with. And uh, she's just amazing. So I, I like Kitty. Kitty's probably one of my characters I really love. So for the raucous race. Uh, next up, it is, um, we got here is Laura. I'll probably put her in a neutral. I really don't have much to say about her. Oh, why is Gwen here? Uh, sorry, Gwen shouldn't be there. I haven't even got to Gwen yet. Um, I don't know how Gwen is there. But anyways, we're going to, um, yeah, I suppose I put Gwen in favorites. So, yeah, she's one of my favorite girls in the Total Drama series. And yeah, I love Gwen. She's one of my favorite girls. Actually, I don't know. Do I put her in love or? I think I'll put her in favorite. I'll put her in favorite. Yeah, sorry. I kind of had some. I I guess I when I was clicking through the characters, I accidentally clicked her, I guess. Anyways, Laura, I'm going to put her in neutral, I suppose. I really don't care about her that much. So, yeah. Leonard. Uh, Leonard is just garbage. I'm sorry. Leonard is just a stupid guy. I'm sorry. The, he's this whole wizard thing is like stupid. So, yeah, he goes in there. Uh, Lashana. Lashana's a character I love. She's a fierce competitor. Um. And I thought she was great at Island Action. World Tour, she wasn't the best at. Um, but, you know, Island Action, she was great. And obviously, she had a very unfair elimination. And, um, dude, so, oh, why, oh my geez, what am I doing? So, let me, I'm trying to drag this, man. Lashana, oh my geez, oh, geez. So many characters, bro. There we go, there we go. There we go, geez. Okay, next up is Lightning. Lightning's the character I like. My light needs a funny character. You know, he has the whole um, personality. So, yeah, where's light? Where did I put lightning? Oh, lightning's here. Why did I... no? Jeez. Guys, bear with me here, man. There we go. Lightning's there. Jeez. So yeah, uh, Lindsay. Lindsay is one of my favorite girls. I thought she was amazing and um, Action Island World Tour. She wasn't like great at, um, but yeah, I mean, she she was great in those two seasons. So, I guess it makes up for it. So I'll put her in. Actually, I'll put her like or love. Actually, I'm going to put her like. I'm going to put her like. Because as much as I like Lindsay, guys, I feel like World Tour All-Stars was not great. So I'll probably put her on like right now. So, yeah. Um, then we got... Um, who's that character? Lorenzo. Lorenzo, I don't really care, honestly, about him. Ugh. I really don't care about Lorenzo whatsoever. MacArthur. MacArthur's amazing. She's so funny. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's such a funny character. And yeah, she's great. So I'll probably put MacArthur and where's MacArthur? No, I don't. I'm I'm putting. Oh wait, MacArthur is in. Um, where's MacArthur? Ah, oh, jeez, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really messing this up. MacArthur is in like, or I'll put it in love actually. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> next up it is um I think that's Elodie, right? No, sorry, that's um Mary. Uh, Mary is neutral. I really don't care about her. Where is Mary? Mary's not there. She's neutral. <clears throat> Max neutral as well. He's a funny guy, I suppose, but really, there's not really much to say about him. So yeah, Max neutral. Um, next up <clears throat> it is Mickey. Mickey also neutral. I really don't care about Mickey. Um. Oh, jeez. So what am I doing? All right. Next up, it is... Uh, oh, my... Okay, why can't I drag this, bro? It's so difficult for me. Okay, we'll just do it here. Just do it here. Just make it easy. Next up is Mike. Guys, let me ask you guys. I don't like Mike that much. I really don't. I, I really don't like Mike that much. Um, I just feel like Mike, for me, is just such a boring character. Sure, he has a multiple personality, which is nice and all. But really, there's just not much about Mike. You know, he's just he's kind of just there. You know, he has his friends with Zoe, so I'm sorry, I'm putting Mike in dislike. I don't like Mike. So. Oh, my jeez, what am I doing? Why am I? There we go. Yeah, I'm putting Mike in dislike. Next up, it is, um, it's, um, uh, it's Miles. Yeah, kind of the same. I'll say I don't really care about her that much. So, yeah. Uh, Millie. Millie's a decent character, I suppose. I, I, I suppose I like Millie for I, uh, the first season. I didn't really like her that much in season two, but so I'll probably put her on like. Okay, why am I, oh my jeez, what am I doing? Oh my jeez, why can't I? 
There we go. And I'll put her... There we go. Right there. Let's go. Next up is MK. MK is cool. I like MK a lot. Actually, I'll put Millie in neutral, actually. MK is cool. I like her I like her a lot more in Season 2. I thought Season 2, she was great. You know, she was all um, being that snarky girl, making those weird... Um, kind of being an antagonist, I suppose, in some ways, which was kind of interesting. So, yeah, I'll put her in like for now. Okay, let me see. Um, no. There we go. Okay. Nichelle. Nichelle is a character so underutilized. Like, she has so much wasted potential. I feel like she could have been an amazing character. And she's one of the few characters that didn't make the merge. So it's really sad. So, yeah. Noah. Noah's a cool guy, I suppose. Um, he has that... Um, Honestly, I don't really care that much about him, honestly. I really don't care, so I'm going to put him in neutral. Owen. Owen, of course, he's uh, he's, he's a good character. Obviously. Owen's one of the best characters in total drama. Um, so I'll probably put him in like. Actually, you know what? I might put him in love. I think I'll put him in love. He's, he's a really funny guy. So I'll put Owen next to Lashana. There we go, like this. Okay, there we go. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's good I pinned it so I don't have to go back down. Uh, Priya. Priya is one of my favorites. I love Priya. She's a fantastic character. I thought she's amazing in the first two seasons. I Sure, I know a lot of people complain about her screen time, but she's just that integral character, man. She's just an important character. She's just a smart girl, and I really do like, uh, love Priya. So Priya is one of my favorites. Um, next up, it is uh, Raj. I'll probably put Raj in, like, Neutral. I really don't care about much about Raj, to be honest with you. He's a he's a cool guy with the server dudes. Um, not server dudes. Sorry, his hockey brother guy. Um, I believe is Wayne. So yeah, I don't really care much about him. The same about him too. I really don't care about him. What's his name? His name is um Rock. I really don't care about Rock that much. Uh Ripper. Uh Ripper's okay, I guess. Um I didn't really like Ripper that much in season one, but season two he was oh, decent. He was better. Um so I'll probably put a Ripper in neutral, I suppose. And I'll put this guy neutral next. Um That is um uh, who's the next guy? Pete. Pete neutral. Okay, uh, Rodney's stupid. I'm sorry, Rodney's dumb. I, I don't like Rodney whatsoever. He's a really stupid character. Um, I don't really hate him per se personally, but um, he's just a dumb character, so yeah. Ryan, I, I, I actually like. I don't mind Ryan. Um, I don't really care about Ryan too much, though, but I do prefer Ryan over Stephanie. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? So yeah. Sadie, the same there. I'm just kind of neutral. I don't really care. Sam, I'm neutral. I don't really care. Um, samey the same. I really don't care about samey that much. Um, now Sanders, I like Sanders is good. She's not as funny as you know, um, her partner, um, MacArthur, but she's still a good character. So I'll probably put her in like for right now. Where is where is Sanders actually? Um, where the heck is she? Uh... Where, where is MacArthur? I mean, sorry, Sanders. Oh, she's right there. Oh, man, I'm dumb. Okay, we're going to put her in like. Okay, Scarlet, I'll put her, put her in neutral. I really don't care. Uh, scary Girl, don't really care about her. So I'll put her in neutral. Scott, I'll probably say like. Uh, I don't really mind Scott. Scott's good. So, oh yeah, Sean, I'll push, uh, let me put Sean back here, we haven't talked about him yet. So, S S Scott, you know, like, Sierra, I like, um, Sky, mm, I like Sky, but I, I, I don't really enjoy it that much, so, I'll probably put her on like, I suppose. You know, she's a strong competitor, Sean's good as well, I don't mind Sean, Sean's, I'll probably put him in. Actually, you know what? I really don't care about Sean, so I'll probably put him in neutral. 
the spud, I'll probably put him in neutral as well. He doesn't like react what's what he he reacts so late. I believe he's like delayed reactions. Sadie. Uh, not Sadie. Um wait, who's that girl? I forgot. Stacy, Stacy. I'll put her dislike. I'm sorry, I don't like Stacy. Stephanie, I don't like Stephanie either. I don't like Stephanie. She just complains too much and and basically Ryan was more at um she was basically on rational most of the time and irrational, so I'm proud. And I'm sorry, I don't like I don't like um uh, sugar. Not a huge fan of sugar. She's not that bad, but no, I don't like her. Um I don't really care about her to be honest. So and I think who's this character? She's next to Leonard, I believe. Tammy. Yeah, Tammy, I don't really care. She's not as stupid as Leonard, but still not the same. Uh, then I'm sorry, I don't like I don't like Taylor. Taylor's too spoiled. Spoiled brat. So she's not going to make it high on this list. So I'm going to put her in dislike. Tom, I'll probably put him in neutral. Oh, that's not Tom. Um, Jeez, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, the trends, I'll probably put him in neutral as well. I don't really care about trends that much. He was good in Ireland, but action, I don't think, is that great. So I guess it evens out. Tyler. Tyler, I like. I actually like Tyler. I think he's pretty funny. He's pretty um, funny. So I'll put Tyler in like. Wayne, I really don't care about Wayne that much. He should not won the, he should not won the new season. Ah. Uh, Topher, I'm going to put him in neutral as well. I don't really care about Topher. Z, Z is cool, I suppose. Um, and that's Zoe. I don't like Zoe much. I'm sorry. She She's too perfect. She's too perfect. And I don't know. I just don't like, like Zoe. I don't like Mike and Zoe together. I'm just not a huge fan. I don't think the, the two are good characters whatsoever. And there's two Mary Su Susie, as they call it. Anyway, so there you guys go. Those are my rankings, man. It took around 32 minutes. I, I think I was going to think about putting times in, but some of the stuff I think I rambled on. So I didn't script for this video, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this with you guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to do a tier list. Um, And yeah, like I said, guys, there's going to be that. And oh, I just realized. Um, I, I, We didn't put the host characters. Um, I'm I could get images. Actually, let me get images real quick for these characters real quick. Because I did want it to do these characters. So let me do that real quickly. Okay, so Dawn, I will say I like. I like Dawn. Um, I'll put Chris Love. I thought Chris was great the first three seasons, but after that, I didn't really enjoy it that much. But he's still a good character. And then I'll put Like for Dawn. And then I'll put Love for Chef Hatch. I think Chef is really good. I think Chef is really good. Okay, so there you guys, man. I go, go. I ranked all the characters of Total Drama. I want to know, I want to know if you guys can do the same in the comments below. Please don't like and subscribe. And yeah, like I said, guys, sorry for me breaking up with the tier list, guys. Just so many characters to do, and I messed up with some of the time. So, anyway, so if you guys did enjoy, please don't like and subscribe, and peace out.